Good morning, guys. Today we're going to continue our conservation of motion. Today's topic is elastic and inelastic collision. So before we already learned that in closed system, momentum is conserved, right? So nearly all systems are、uh, closed. If we think about specific situation, and then so all momentum and kinetic energy. Is conserved because if you recall from physical science, kinetic energy is k equal m v. Since our velocity and mass, oh, I'm sorry, k equal half m v squared. So,、um, momentum is m v, right? So,、um, the momentum and kinetic energy should be conserved in a closed system. So that's why when we look at this little model, we know if we swing one ball up and then the other ball on the other side will swing up when、uh, you play it. But if you start with two balls, and then the two ball will swing across, right? So that brings us to elastic and inelastic collision. So as we know, elastic means it can bounce back, right? Uh, inelastic means it cannot bounce back. So just like what it means, in some collision, in a closed system, kinetic energy is conserved. So when both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved, the collision is called an elastic collision. So everything, just like you're bouncing a ball,、uh, exclude all friction or air drag and all that. When you're bouncing a ball. When you drop it on the floor, and then it will bounce right back up to the same height, theoretically. So everything is conserved and back to normal. So it bounces back, right? So it's called elastic collision. However, most collision are inelastic, just like when two things、uh, collide together, there will be some sort of Deformation, okay. So most collision are inelastic because some amount of kinetic energy is converted to potential energy. Potential energy is the energy that's stored inside, usually by raising one of the object higher or by flexing the object. That just means it make the other object move up or deformation. So any dent or other changing of shape by one of the object will also be accompanied by a loss of kinetic energy, because you need energy, or any sort of energy, to, for example, two car collide crash. If there's no energy that stored inside the car or made the car deform,、um, it's not gonna happen. Right. Imagine if you want to deform the car yourself, you have to put in a lot of energy. Right. You have to hit it and bend it. So it's the same idea. The only commonly seen elastic collision are those between a billiard board, a balls, and ball bearing, because these balls do not decompress. Ah,、uh, sorry, do not compress. Collision between molecules are elastic if no damage is done to the molecule. So this is molecule is a chemical micro、um, level. So we're not we're not going to talk about molecules.、Um, but take home message: we have two type of collision. One is elastic. One is inelastic. Elastic, all the kinetic energy and momentum is conserved. So whatever you're putting down, it will bounce back. Okay, in elastic collision, momentum still conserved. Amount of energy there is still the same. However, kinetic convert to potential, create some,、um, create some、uh, deformation. Okay. It says these collision occur whenever kinetic energy is not conserved, primarily when the object height is increased after collision and one of one of the object is compressed. So same thing here. We have examples, right? So these are examples. 
let's take a look at the conservation of momentum. And our equation, the conservation of momentum or the conservation of kinetic energy is, for example, you have two things collide, right? When you have two things collide, the momentum of first thing pass plus the momentum of the second thing is equivalent to momentum of the first thing and the second thing after collision, right? So that is conservation of momentum. However, we also talk about the conservation of kinetic energy. The kinetic energy, Ke, equal to, I don't know why, half mv squared. So this is just the kinetic energy of the first object and kinetic energy of the second object add together before collision is equivalent to the kinetic energy add together um, or when they are together, okay? They put together or stick together and then the kinetic energy together like half mv squared, okay? Well, all you have to do is plug in your answer, your numbers to get your answer. So what I want to do is to write on your notes, right? And then I post the agenda on the Google Classroom. Um, if you can, I would like you to do the review. I'm not gonna collect them as your homework. However, I am going to go over that review part of a question in next class. Okay. And you probably got my email about the change in our participation and the change in our homework. So I'm going to post only one homework per week at the beginning of the week. And you have up to Friday night to finish everything. And every Thursday and Friday, we're not going to meet or I'm not going to post anything on Google Classroom for you to do, to look at. Instead, we are going to meet Thursday or Friday from 2 o'clock to 3.30 on Zoom. The link is posted in your Google Classroom and your email. Make sure you attend. I will count that as our online class and give you participation and extra credit for your for your test. If your class is on Thursday, you just have to go online once. Um, if your class is on Thursday, don't do anything in the morning, go online at two o'clock on Thursday. If your class is on Friday that week, then attend a meeting on Friday, okay? If you miss one day, you can attend the one in the other day. So you have, basically you can choose either one, Thursday or Friday. And during that time, I'm going to go over the concept a bit more and talk about review questions, talk about homework, talk about our quiz. So every single week, you're only gonna have one quiz. It will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, either one. I'm going to let you know what day will be your quiz um, the week before. And our quiz, instead of having the quiz during the class period, all of our quiz will start at one o'clock p.m. And if it's a quiz, you have one hour to finish. If it's a test, you have two hours to finish. And of course, I'm going to post the quiz and the date ahead of time in Google Classroom. All right, so please read my email carefully. I know it's long. I know I also summarized it at the end of the email. However, you need to know the detail of the changes so you're not going to miss anything. All right, have a good day. I will see you on Thursday.